you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, got an action figure review for you today. Vintage Collection. We're looking at the Armorer VC331. Um, yeah, we're going to look at the uh, the playset itself after I've done this. So tomorrow I'll uh, drop a video of the uh, the playset, but I thought I'd just do an individual figure review. And then when I do the playset, I can incorporate the figure into it. So uh, she is VC331. It is titled as the Armorer Lakeside Covert World. See the armor there. The packaging looks quite nice. She's got her jetpack this time, and she's also whipping up Grogu's little little chest armor there. Nice and hot still. So yeah, she's got her tools. I do like the image on the card. I think it looks nice. Nice representation of this version, I think. And I do like the uh, I like the red. I like the sort of the deep red color that we use for the. For the new name pill and the, you know the behind the bubble. So she's in the back. Looks pretty nice. It's got, looks like she's got some soft goods this time, which is nice. They did they did that with the deluxe black series version. So yeah, let's uh, let's bust open the armor and take a look at the figure. All right, here is the figure. And before we take a look at the figure, I just wanted to share that I do have the lovely Emily Swallow's autograph here. She came down to Australia last year. And uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to meet her and to get, get her autograph. So I have this proudly framed. I don't have it hung up at the moment. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. It was a cool piece and a nice little touching tribute to... Uh, to the armorer. So yeah, I'm gonna get the get the camera back on the uh, stand, and we'll we'll talk about the figure. All right, here she is. Cool looking figure. It's uh yeah, more or less exactly the same. It's it's a repack. Let's be honest, it's a repack, but it's fine. It's cool. It's a nice change. It's a variation. Um, I do have the original version, which I'll bring down afterwards, just so we can have a look. Slight retool um, from the original, just to accommodate the jetpack and the accompanying soft goods. So we'll take a look. We'll get a look at the accessories. So yeah, she does come with this, uh, you know, metalwork hammer. She did come with that with the first figure, as well as the sort of the forceps grabbers, top tongs, whatever you want to call them. Um, so that's cool. It's nice to have that. And uh, yeah, again, here we have a, a take on the uh, the forceps sort of pliers. As they're sort of, you can sort of see where the little hinge would sit. And how they're sort of gripping onto the Grogu's little hot plate. It's sort of cut in that sort of gold colour to sort of represent the the scorching heat of the elements. I'm looking forward to setting up, setting up the forge for the next video, but that's cool too. And the jetpack, which is a nice, unique looking jetpack. I think that looks cool. Nice, big, chunky, chunky peg on the back, which is where the uh, retool has sort of happened here. So we got the figure, obviously the soft goods. You can kind of just see the hole in the back there, as well as through the soft goods there, which I think is a good move. And the soft goods looks good. One thing I thought of with the other figure, I do feel like the uh, the neck peg is just that little bit longer. I like her head to sort of sit down a little bit more, but I'm not going to complain at all. But if I was going to, that would be a, comp a minor grievance. I don't have complaints, I just have minor grievances. But yeah, the jetpack plugs in nicely. It was awesome to see her rocking this towards the end of season three. In the uh, mission to Mandalore. So that looks good. Yeah, only mainly some sort of slight paint variations on this one. I don't feel like this one has got the uh, same level as of weathering. 
So we'll do a little side by side, but we'll take over take, take a look at the one that is um, for the purposes of review. That's just what I'm reviewing. <laughs> I do like the uh, that sort of pinky bronze almost look copper. Look at the chest armor. I think it looks really good. Sort of the welding gloves. Definitely sort of a more of a utilitarian outfit. Suited to her position as armorer. Down to the uh, steel cap boots. You don't want to be dropping tools on your on your feet. Yeah, it's almost like a, a metal worker's sort of apron. The way that, the way the sort of the skirt is. Then yeah, on the back you got that very sort of Mandalorian sort of vibe with the uh, the back flap. There kind of reminds me of um, you know the style of Ahsoka's outfit during the Siege of Mandalore. Yeah, it's all got that sort of Mandalorian shape and feel to their outfits. It's looking pretty good. No thing just on mine there is a little bit of extra sort of gummy paint just on the elbow joint, but uh, you know, it hasn't restricted any of that. Maybe that'll just sort of break off at some point. But even then, it's not a big deal. Could just bend the elbow up like that and display her like so. So we'll check out the articulation. There's the uh, the ball joint in the head, the ball joint in the top of the neck. So you get a bit nice range of movement of the head. It's got the ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows. It's got the uh, the ball and socket sort of torso joint. So again, plenty of movement. Ball hinges in the wrists. Got the up and down hinge on the left, and I'm pretty sure it's the same on the right. Yep. So if we peer under her skirt. She's still got the uh, the hinge hinge joints on the hips. She's got the swivels at the thighs, ball hinges at the knee, ball hinges at the ankle, and then the rocker joint in the foot. So yeah, not too bad at all. You know, the sort of the hinge hips are sort of starting to make their way out being replaced with the barbell which I, I don't know I think I think it's a little bit nicer the new joints I think that's kind of an improvement I hope it's a, a cost effective thing but yeah we're gonna do the uh, the peg test take a look at the uh, action figure peg on the KR stand get them on there and I know it's gonna fit because it's the same as the uh, previous version so yeah it's a nice nice snug fit there it's not going anywhere and here is the uh, the original release and you see some slight differences in paint I think the original one There's slightly different different colors there so the undersuit is kind of a more bluey gray a little bit more weathering on the skirt on the original. Same with the uh, helmet. A little bit more, little bit more weathering. Very slight differences. But of course, the obvious being the big sort of plastic on the back, as opposed to the soft goods on this one, it just allows for a little bit more maneuverability, but. Yeah, hasn't hasn't taken anything away from this original release. It still works well. And yeah, this is a this is a character I've become a big fan of over the years. And definitely uh being able to meet Emily Swallow was uh was definitely a addition to that, you know, being able to meet the actress or the actor. You know, it just adds another dimension to uh the appreciation of the character and the work that goes into the performance. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to 
we'll be checking out the uh, figure again when we uh, put her in the forge. So stay tuned tomorrow. We're going to put together the forge. It's going to be cool. So I hope you'll be able to join me for that video. And until then, may the force be with you always. Mm.